Hey, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite tips, and that's using the snipping tool. So stay tuned. So the snipping tool can be found right here on your keyboard. You're gonna see it with this symbol right here underneath print screen. And to access that, what you wanna do is hold down the function key right here. So you're gonna hold down the function key and hit print screen. And there's that little scissors right there, and that's your snipping tool. You're going to see a dialog box that pops up says snipping tool and you're going to want to click on new right here. When you click on new you'll see your screen sort of gets grayed out and then what you do is with this now you have a crosshairs here with the crosshairs you're going to want to just drag the box that you want to take a snip of. This is going to take a picture of your screen. Once your image pops up on your screen you're going to have a couple different options here at the top on the menu bar. You can copy and paste this image now into a Google document, a Word document, or any kind of document like that. You can mark this up. I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you wanted to just copy and paste this, you could hit Control C, or you could go up here to edit and hit copy. And then you can just right click and paste that into a document, even an email. If you wanted to send this in an email, you could just go right here to where it says send snip. This is also available in the file menu. It says send to and it says email recipient. You can also find that under the mail icon right here where it says send snip and you'd be able to send this. If I hit this, it opens up email right to Microsoft Outlook and I can type in someone's address and then I can send this image. This might be useful if you're having some issue with your computer that you need to communicate with the IT department. You can take a screenshot of what you're seeing and then you could send that as part of your help desk ticket. Another really useful tool here is the pen. So it is right now set on the pen and for the pen there's different options it's on blue pen so you're going to be able to make marks on this so you can use your mouse to mark it up or if you want to use your pen I'm going to erase these marks here you also have your stylus in the side of your Lenovo ThinkPad so that will be maybe a little bit easier way to mark up things so if I was going to demonstrate how to do this snipping tool again I would say hold down the function and also this print screen button that has the little scissors right here. So now I have my picture marked up. Now I can email that picture right to someone that's trying to find the shortcut, for example. So for some reason, let's say you didn't really like this image and you wanted to take another screenshot, you could just close this out if you want to. And it'll say, do you want to save this? That's the changes. You can say, no, I don't want to save this. Let's use another example here. Let's say I was on the Fleetwood website here. I needed to highlight some information somewhere on the screen. So if I want to take a screenshot of this page right here, again, I would hold down function and that print screen button. Here's my new snip. Then I can just drag over the screen that I want. And now let's say I wanted to highlight something. There's a highlighter function up at the top here on the toolbar. You can click on highlight and then you can go over some text right here that you might want to highlight. Again, if you use your mouse, it might not be super accurate. It might be easier to use the pen. I'm using the mouse right here. If you want to save it as a picture file, it's already preset to be a JPEG file. Um, you can name it here at this point and pick the folder you want that image to save into. If you just want to copy and paste this real quickly right into an email or another document, you could do that at this point. Okay, so that's the snipping tool. I hope that that was uh, insightful for you. I hope that you're gonna be able to use that in what you do and it makes your life a little easier. I'm gonna show you in future videos how you can easily get the, the pictures off of your phone and get them onto your computer. I'm gonna show you some quick ways to do that. And that makes it really useful if you have uh, an old worksheet that you want to take a picture of real quick and get that image and put that image into another document digitally. You're gonna be able to do that pretty quickly with this snipping tool. So I hope this gave you some ideas. I hope this is going to inspire you to try that snipping tool. Let me know if you have any questions or comments at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. And until next time, take care.